Now, ACF Pro brings with it a range of additional field types that we have over the free version. We're going to be checking out how to get started using the repeater field in this video. So once you've installed and activated ACF Pro, we're going to go into the field group section. And inside there, we're going to create a new field group for our repeater region. So let's go ahead and click Add New. We'll give this a name. It's worth mentioning at this point, you can set up repeater regions or repeater fields in any field group you want. They don't have to be in their own dedicated field group. So feel free to mix and match these with text and WYSIWYG editors, all those kinds of normal things that you do. So now we've given it a name. It already opens up to include the first field that we want, the first meta field. So what we're going to do is we can either choose from the drop down list or we can go ahead and use the browse fields option open up the pro section and inside there that now shows us the additional fields we have access to. Let's choose a repeater. If you want to access the documentation or a brief overview or a tutorial, you can grab that from the right hand side. We're just going to give this a name. We're going to call this job details and say select field. So now we've selected that method. You can see that's already filled up the field name and the field label. So everything is in place. If we look underneath, this now opens up the subfield section. The subfields allows us to do exactly as it suggests, create subfields of our repeater field. So for this example, we're going to create three individual fields. We can mix and match these from any other options, including nesting repeater fields if you wanted to get that deep into it. Let's keep this relatively straightforward, though. Let's add our first field in. Again, we can use the browse fields or we can use the field type from here and we're going to choose text as our option. We've also got the access to the validation presentation and conditional logic again. So this is exactly the same as you'd see it just created a standard normal meta field. It just happens to be inside the repeater field setup. Can I give this a name? We'll pop in company for the company that you work for. Again, you see that pre-fills out the company name. We don't worry about any default values, and we're not going to worry about things like validation, presentation, or conditional logic in this example. Let's close that down, and let's go ahead and add another field in. This time, we're going to set this to be a WYSIWYG field. This just allows us to get a little bit more creative with the content. We can add bold, italics, those kinds of things. Field label. We'll pop in as job description that will pre-fill out the field name underneath. Again, we still have the validation and so on options. And then the final one we're going to add in is the numeric field. And this is going to be the salary. Again, you can see that pre-fills things out. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the presentation part of this. We're going to scroll down and we're going to say we want to append this or prepend this. We're going to just say prepend. We're going to put the pound sign in because I'm working in the UK. Okay, so there's the basics of our repeater field setup. I'm going to come back to some of the other options once we've seen how easy it is to get this working. Now, let me quickly tell you about today's video sponsor, Independent Analytics. Independent Analytics is simplifying analytics for WordPress users. It's user-friendly and 100% GDPR compliant. It's my go-to plugin that provides clear insights into website traffic and popular content with a manageable statistics overview. It offers critical information in a visually appealing, intuitive dashboard for free. If you need more features such as real-time analytics, campaign link tracking, WooCommerce analytics, or email reports, you may want to consider upgrading to the Pro version. Now, if you're ready to elevate your analytics experience, visit independentwp.com to download the plugin and explore more for yourself. Now, I created a basic post type called Work Experience, and we're going to associate this repeater field with that particular custom post type. So what we're going to do is set this to be the work experience. So now this associates this particular meta field group with that custom post type. Now we've done everything we want. We're going to click on Save Changes. And now if we open up our work experience section, so that displays a blank empty list for work experience, we can now go and click on Add New. Now at the moment, our repeater is only showing us the titles of the relevant different meta fields. If we click on Add Row, that will now open everything up. We can start adding in our custom information. So let's say that the company was Google Inc. I can draw, drop my job description in, and then put my salary in. I was on a big salary. So we've created one job. Now let's go and click on Add Row. And now you can see we get a duplicate. So now I can add another job in. So let's just say for this time, I was working for Facebook. We'll pop in a description and my salary. And now I can simply carry on adding any rows that I want until I've got my entire work experience inside you. If I make a mistake and I don't want to add one in, so let's add another row in and I want to remove it. You can see I simply hover over the right hand side and I've got the option to remove the row. I can click, confirm it, and now we've got rid of that additional row. Let's publish this and we've now created our first repeater region test. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options that are associated with this. At the moment, this looks a little bit messy. If we hop back over into our meta fields, so let's open up our job details, for example. And you can see if we scroll through where we've got our repeater region or repeater field, we have three different options for the layout. Currently, we've got this set to table. Let's choose block and save our changes. Hop back over and refresh. And you can see now we get a slightly different layout. Everything is now stacked on top of each other. This already makes it a little bit easier, especially if you want large amounts of content inserted in. Let's come back up one more time and let's go back into our job details, into our repeater and set this to be a row. Again, let's save those changes, refresh, and we have a slightly different layout again. So you can customize the look and feel of this. And again, we can come in and if we have, we know we're going to have lots and lots of items inside our repeater region. We can, if we want to, add pagination and we can choose how many we want per row. So let's say, for example, 10. And once we get more than 10 inside there, it'll now give us the ability to paginate through the various different sections. So that's pretty cool. And again, you can, if you want to, come in and customize all the different aspects. There's apply validation, presentation, and so on. So we've got full control over how everything looks and operates. And again, we've got the same when it comes to the options for where this is associated. So you can see we can come into the presentation. We can customize this. Let's say we want a seamless meta box. If we have multiple meta boxes inside here, we can set up exactly where we want this in the stacking order. You kind of get the picture with what I'm talking about. Let's again save our changes, come back over, refresh, and we get a slightly cleaner, little bit more modern look. And I would probably go for something like this. Now, this basically covers how you can start to create your own meta fields using ACF Pro. And if you want to output this information, there are various different ways you can do it. You can get your hands dirty with code, but chances are, if you know how to do that, you probably don't need this video. What I would suggest is, though, take a look at the video I released recently on using this with Bricks Builder, so no additional plugins, but if you want to use Elemental or other tools, various different options are out there for you to be able to output this information once you've created it using repeater fields in ACF Pro. Now, as always, all applicable links are in the description down below. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, drop those in the comments section. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.